To adapt to your destination, please pause the video and read the question completely. In an examination, 80 students, 80% 80 of students have passed in English and 70% of students have passed in Hindi and 15% have failed in both the subject. So now if I consider a Venn diagram, it should be two circles and then out of these two circles, this 15 will lie outside. So this is the reason why I cannot consider this as N of E directly and N of H directly because this value represents something that's outside this circle. Therefore, make sure you don't make that mistake. When you have something that is lying in the outer space, make sure you understand the concept. And now what we can do is, since they are asking for the percentage of students who failed only in one subject, we are going to consider the failed numbers. So basically here, 80% of students have passed. Now I don't need to put percentage because everything is in percentage. So you can consider the total students as 100 and just work with this value. Now that 80 students have passed in English, I can say that 20 students have failed in English. So this 20 might also consider the students who have failed in Hindi as well. And then the same goes to Hindi. Since 70 students have passed in Hindi, 30 students have failed in Hindi. And now these are the students who have failed in both English and Hindi and they are lying in this value, right? So basically if I have to take, take the people out who have failed only in English, I'll say 20 minus 15, right? I hope this concept is clear. Which means five students have failed only in English and the same thing goes to Hindi 30 minus 15 which means 15 students have failed only in Hindi now if I calculate both of this it's nothing but 20 students 20 students have failed only in one subject therefore option B is the right answer